You guys, I'm so so excited for today's video because today we're finally tackling the topic that I've been thinking about for a good while and obviously I'm speaking about comparing my 2016 style to 2021 style. It's been five years since 2016 when I started drawing like a lot so um, I'm really excited to see and to compare how my techniques changed and how my approach and style as well changed a bit. So this is exactly what we're gonna be diving into today. And apart from that, in today's video we're also celebrating the fifth anniversary of Ohuhu markers. It's actually crazy that it's been five years since they came out with their first marker set and I remember that like it was yesterday. And obviously to celebrate that and to appreciate Ohuhu markers as a brand that I've been working with for so long, we're gonna be using Ohuhu markers in today's video. So if you guys are excited to see the comparison between my 2016 and 2021 art, then let's just jump right into it. Alright, so for today's comparison and for 2016 drawing, I picked the one that is probably one of the most popular drawings of mine. And this is this uh, squatting girl taking a selfie, very my style, let's say. And this drawing went viral at one point and it was pretty much everywhere, so I was really happy about that. But I never got the courage to actually recreate it, I never felt that the opportunity was special to do it, but today, since we're celebrating, I think it's finally the time to, you know, take up on a challenge and actually do that. So, well, let's start off with a sketch. I've already did the line art, so today we're gonna be focusing mostly on coloring and on using a hoo markers, obviously. So, let's rewind back to 2016. And looking back at this drawing that I'm recreating today, I can right away tell how my style has evolved and changed. And honestly, I still love the style that I had and the technique that I was using in 2016, but obviously since I'm constantly evolving, it'll be hard to, you know, get back to it and draw like I did in 2016. So what was so special about my technique back then, it was that I was using more markers and less color pencils. Now you know that uh, I do a lot of details with color pencils and I pay a lot of attention to that, but back then I was using uh, markers more and I was doing more shading with markers actually. And then if you look closely on the 2016 drawing, you can also tell that um, the details and the shading is not that precise. I was kind of, um, you know, going over everything pretty much quite loosely and I was giving like, um, let's say, sort of an impression of shadow. It's hard to explain exactly, but I think uh, once we're gonna have the comparison side by side, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. Another thing that changed is the style of shading because back then I was doing a lot of hatching or cross hatching in the areas that I wanted to be shaded the most and that was my sort of thing to finish my drawing off with uh, those kind of little details. And um, another thing that I was uh, doing a lot was tattoos on my characters. I really liked tattoos back then and I still love tattoos but I felt like every character drawing that I did looked better with tattoos. So if you rewind back to 2016 and if you look from my Instagram, you can pretty much tell that every girl that I was drawing had tattoos. And I think that was also very significant for my style because that was something that made my drawing stand out from the crowd a little bit more. And yeah, I really enjoyed doing that and I was feeling it. So yeah, that was the characteristics of my style and of my technique back then. And now thinking of uh, how I approach drawing now and thinking of the technique of the style, uh, like I already mentioned, I use uh, way more color pencils and I focus more on blending and on achieving this perfect three-dimensional effect. And this is the core of my illustrations, I would say, right now. Um, so I felt like my drawings have lost this sort of very 
free cartoonish like effect and they have gained a little bit more of realism and they are a little bit more worked on if you get what I'm saying. I don't know if you agree with me but this is how I feel about my illustrations and I definitely can say that I really like the direction that my art is going towards but obviously I also appreciate um, the technique, the style that I had in 2016. Now talking about the second point of our today's video Oh, markers. You guys know that they've been a friend of this channel for so, so long. And I remember like it was yesterday that I've heard of them and I was like, oh my God, that's a new brand. That feels so cool because uh, alcohol-based markers market wasn't that saturated back then. And it was always so cool to see new markers coming out. And yeah, I've heard of Oho markers. And then I saw big YouTubers like Drawing With Waffles, uh, trying them out. And I was like, hey, I actually want to see what they are about too. So I remember I bought my first package of Oho markers back in 2000, I don't know, 17, 18, something like that. And I checked them out and back then um, they weren't as, um, let's say, professionally looking like they do now, uh, but I still enjoyed them uh, and I used them quite a lot. I remember I even made a video about them and you guys liked it a lot. And then, you know, after a while I was watching them and I was seeing what they are doing and they started releasing more and more new marker sets and I was like, oh wow, they are actually doing really good. And from a certain point, I started uh, working with them. They were sending me uh, their new markers. So I felt like, you know, it's so cool to see a brand you like evolve and then you become a part of it. So it's, it's really cool to, you know, yeah, just be a part of the process and I'm just so so glad that they managed to develop so much and now I can literally say that uh, home markers, in my opinion, are one of the best in the game and they are competing with Copics, they are competing with Pro Markers, um, at least in my opinion, they are pretty much on their level. So. Uh, it's amazing and I'm so happy for them and I'm so happy that I can be a part of that. So yeah, that's about my process, my thoughts and my, let's say, reminiscing part, taking you guys down the memory lane, uh, both when it comes to my art and uh, speaking about the oh markers a little bit too. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. And also as a part of celebration of Ohuhu's fifth anniversary, they have an amazing deals on their website. So check them out because you know, it's always a good idea to have some uh, promo for markers. So uh, the links are going to be in my description box. And also the slogan of this whole celebration is paint up your inspiration. And there's a lot of artists joining uh, this movement, this uh, fun, this celebration. So also make sure you follow them on Instagram, check out their website because, you know, the fun is there and there's plenty of cool things happening. So you really want to join all of that. And now you can finally uh, see the 2016 and 2021 versions side by side. So yeah, let me know what do you think. They are definitely a little bit different and don't get me wrong, I love them both, but I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards the new one a little bit more. Let me know what do you think. All right, so that is the comparison between my 2016 and 2021 art, technique, style, and all of that. And, and honestly, you guys, 2016 feels like it was maybe two years ago. I know it's a little bit crazy, but you know, looking back now, you know, reminiscing everything, it's actually so interesting to see how much my approach to art and my techniques have changed, but you know, the core of it, the essence of my style and of my approach to art is kind of still there no matter uh, which direction I'm going. So that was really interesting to see this sort of comparison live and you know finally side by side so i really hope that you guys enjoyed it too let me know if you have been with me since 2016 and apart from that it was so cool to use ohuhu markers as well i literally can't believe that it's been five years since they came out on the market and honestly they've been killing the game you know so yeah i had so much fun making this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for watching i love you all and i can't wait to see you in my next videos take care you guys bye I'm just going with the gut, never had a doubt, felt like this is just a must Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut, everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now